I'm Champ Chong, it is Friday and I've had the Spongebob Squarepants theme stuck in my head for about five hours and I think I'm about to go a little bit crazy. Here's the clip of the day. Hey guys, welcome to that show where I report on the latest in video game news from around the world. And if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to smack that like button real good. And now let's jump into our first news report of the day, which comes to us from Activision, as they finally revealed Black Ops 2 for the Wii U. They showed us how the new Wii U controller will work with the game, and obviously they also showed us the graphics that they've been able to achieve with the Wii U. And Activision also said that this is the first time that they've been able to achieve such realism on a Nintendo console. Now while demonstrating this gameplay, you guys you guys can see that two players are on the same console in the same match, but now split screen is completely gone. Instead of split screen, one player will be on the TV and the other will be on the Wii U gamepad. And at first when I saw this, I thought maybe, just maybe players are going to argue over the TV or the gamepad or something like that. But now when I look at it, I think these options are pretty even. But if you're one of those players that don't want to play with a friend or even a team at all, Free For All has some new information about it. It's not that much information, it's really small actually, but I thought I'd just include it. Because the legendary David Vonderhaar from Treyarch released this image and explained that now in Free For All you will have your custom emblem replace the random team emblem that you used to get in Free For All. This is a pretty nice little addition to the game. It's nothing major as I mentioned, but it's just nice to have. Oh, right, and one final note I did want to tell you guys about is that the Black Ops 2 version on the Wii U will be running at 60 frames per second and at 1080p resolution. Now that's some pretty awesome news, but some news that isn't as awesome is a segment we know as the sad news. Sad news! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so on today's sad news, if you're not a fan of the Wii U, you're going to be pretty sad. But if you're a fan of the Wii U, you might also be very sad because today's sad news is about the Wii U. And it's not good. Now the reason I say this news is not good at all is because the Japanese customer base looks like they might be the only ones who get treated right. Now what I'm talking about is that reports have come out that US owners of the Wii U will not be able to purchase a second Wii U gamepad for their console in stores. The only way people will be able to buy new gamepads is if they contact Nintendo Nintendo customer support. But as I said, the Japanese people look to be treated right because in Japan, they're just going to be able to walk into stores and buy them unlike the US and most of the rest of the Western world. And the worst part of all this is when you do want to buy a new gamepad, it's going to cost you close to $200. Seriously, almost $200 for a controller? Like really? That's almost the price of a damn console itself. And speaking of the console and its price, why don't we just move on over to the big news before I start going crazy and start ranting about a controller's price. So yeah, let's move on to the big news. Big news! So to jump right into the big news, Nintendo have confirmed the price of the Wii U. They confirmed it yesterday and you'll be able to get a basic console for about 348 Australian dollars and the premium console will be 428 Australian dollars. Now the difference between them is that the basic is white and has only 8 gigabytes of storage and the premium is black and includes 32 gigabytes of storage. Now both of these storage sizes seem kind of small when you compare them to a PS3 or 360, but they might do something about that and work out a new way of saving data and game saves. Assassin's Creed 3 has new screenshots for the Wii U and you can see that everything that has been on screen previously has now been moved to the Wii U gamepad. Personally I like this idea and the main reason I do like this idea is that the screen is clean and you can focus on the game with almost nothing in your way. But then again I do have a slight problem with this as you might have to look down every now and then which I feel might take you out of the experience of the game in the long run. Though I still do like this idea, it's a trial, it's a new console, it's a new way of playing games so we've got to see how it does work out in the future. Anyway, that about does it for the news of today. I'm sorry about it being all Wii U stuff. The show will be back to normal on Monday. Also, just in case you missed it, a new episode of Project Hazard went up yesterday. I've linked you guys down below and also an annotation on screen. So yeah, please go subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you enjoy the show when you see it. Anyway, now we move on over to the Grill Man question. Please, Grill Man, give me that question. Thanks, Gorilla Man. Okay, guys, Gorilla Man's question, which he picked from my Twitter, where you guys can submit questions, is if you could get into a gunfight with one video game character, who would it be and why? So get creative with your answer and put it down below in the comments section. It could be on Monday's show, but if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to smack that like button real good, because I'm Champ Chong, my accent is Australian, and here are the answers to Gorilla Man's previous questions. <laughs> 